Okay, I'm gonna flat out say it. I don't like Willie Tiber. I mean, honestly, like, his ambitions and everything are just, like, out of whack. He's probably the most wackiest character in AOT, and I'm glad. I'm not glad Aaron killed him. I'm just glad Aaron kind of shot him up for his foolish ambitions. Okay, YouTube KVK here, and I would have for you today is a Attack on Titan Season 4 review. And the reason why I'm reviewing Season 4 is because it's set to, um, to air on April 2020 with 12 episodes. I'm kind of here to discuss with you about this. Well, for one thing, I'm flipping through my pages of my notebook, and the second thing is that I'm so excited for all the color schemes. If they haven't gotten to, like, what the color schemes look like for Librio yet, I'm honestly very excited for the Raid of Librio. The Raid of Librio is what I've been waiting for, and it's, quite frankly, it's a good raid. You know, we get introduced to the Warhammer Titan, which looks awesome, outstanding, or as, like, a popular meme says, outstanding, or outstanding move. It was an outstanding move to introduce the Warhammer Titan in Attack of Librio. Thank you, Isayama. Yeah, that's his name. <laughs> Just making sure I got his name right. And also, what I'm very excited about is, like, you know, the rise of the Yagarists. You know, Zeke's plan. You know, everything gets gets explained. You know, the Paradis, the people in Paradis build docks. They build a train. They build transportations to communicate and transport with other countries. Coming together to its... Um, built the world to a f better future, you know. Ever since the beginning of the story, we've always feared the Titans. The people in Paradise have always feared the Titans. It's always been the world's biggest threat. Now that the story's evolved, I feel like heading in season four, the, th the Titans are basically not even a threat anymore because we all have all these anti weapons you know, to attack the Titans. Now, the thing is that Aaron has three Titan shifters in him, and I'm excited to see how they're going to animate. Um, the uses of the Warhammer Titan, the Founding Titan, and um, the Attack Titan, which they already done too. We just need how the Warhammer Titan's ability's gonna look, and so and so forth. I'm excited to see, you know, the raid on um, Paradis, you know, what's happening in the recent chapters, you know. Um, Theo Magath, you know, Reiner, you know, everybody, like, going out in, like, a battle. And, like, it's like everything is just going out, and it's very, very exciting, and I just love it very much. I hope season four covered that. I mean, like, I'm that was a car, um, a car honking its horn. Anyway, um, I'm just hoping that you know the animation will be slightly better than season three. I like season three's animation, but like, I didn't like Aaron versus Ryan. It was too slow. I mean, the animation looked good. It was just kind of just too slow. You know, I want. I basically want season one animation. Season one animation had a good pace and it had like a good sense of quickness to it you know season three kind of like slowed down for me personally i don't know if you guys agree with me but this is what i think of personally i feel like season four will be the best because one is only 12 episodes two they have more times to work on these 12 episodes than working on 24 so the episodes will look better than the ones in season three i don't know if season three is still continuing i may be i may be like doing all the librio and stuff like that i don't know but as of right now, I believe Production IG is animating Attack on Titan. And I just thank them for animating this. You know, I binge watch Attack on Titan a while back, you know. My friend, um, my cousin, and my um, my uncle told me about the series. I was like, eh. Like, some time passed, I binge watched season one, and I instantly got hooked on it. I just knew I loved it. And I watched season two and Tanami. I'm watching season three with Tanami. I missed a couple episodes. I have to you know, binge watch them too, but I just absolutely love this series. I love the manga and I love the anime. I feel like I feel like the anime does stay true to the manga in some ways. Some ways it doesn't, but you no know, good anime series always stays true to the manga. And that's basically wraps up for this video. You know, let me know what you thought of the video. If you'd like to hit the like button, if you just like to hit the dislike button, hit that subscribe button for more content like this and hit that great bell to be notified when I make a new video. I'm signing out.